Hello everyone. So uh, in this week's Cheat Chat session, uh, I am Prashant and uh, with me is Mr. B. Krishna Kumar. So uh, this time we'll have a, a different uh, kind of a format wherein we'll discuss uh, some chart setups and point and figure and uh, the price, objective price based systems. So uh, a very common question that's being asked is uh, even though for example uh, they know point and figure charts and they know about the patterns but which pattern should we use for scanning you know and uh, which pattern should we follow so I, I i would say it is like you know point and figure is also a charting system same uh, thing appears uh, same thing uh, is applicable on candlestick chart also for example or any any charting method for that matter for example which pattern should i follow so how do we actually do it is we uh, you know, try to understand the context. We try to see uh, uh, if price is at support, if there's a breakout and if there is a favorable candle, you know, with a large candle with uh, high, uh, with a significant body and high volume and something like that. So it's, it's more of an uh, analysis, I would say. But uh, in point and figure, uh, because these are uh, the, the columns uh, represents a particular swing we the there we have an opportunity there are objective price based system so we can uh, uh, create a trading system wherein we'll scan a pattern and uh, you know decide on entry exit and things like that so there are many uh, patterns in point and figure also but uh, there's one thing that we are going to discuss today it's a turtle breakout system uh, uh, on on point and figure chart actually it is a very simple uh, uh, trading system so i have uh, 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 recorded a video also on turtle system trading system where i've uh, covered it uh, in detail so it's uh, there available on our youtube channel we'll also uh, provide a link in this uh, video so turtle is uh, uh, turtle breakout system on candlestick chart is very simple like for example a 20 day high if if price crosses last 20 day high We'll say it's a breakout uh, and and in in a original turtle system there are many rules for example you buy when there's a 20 day breakout then you put a stop loss at uh, 10 day uh, below 10 day low or there was another system where you buy a 55 day breakout and then you put a, a stop loss below 20 day and things like that so there are many 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 possibilities on a uh, breakout you can use 20 day 30 day 40 day so that's about parameter so but in, in simple words it's a system where price goes above last multiple uh, period high that's a breakout that's a simple definition of breakout which is workable on uh, candlestick chart also we can create trading systems or we can use it occasionally and analyze the charts and do all uh, those things uh, what is uh, different here or what is there uh, uh, in point and figure to offer is we have these columns instead of candles. Now one column represents uh, many days and when price goes above the high of last multiple columns, uh, it's a significant breakout, right? It is irrespective of number of days. At times what happens is price goes into a large consolidation <clears throat> in columns. No, now for example, we, we can see it in candlestick chart also, but it, uh, there can be multiple sessions of doji, hammer or small candles or small, narrow candles where price has not actually moved significantly. Uh, in those cases, the column will, or the box will not even get printed on the point and figure chart. So the point and figure column represents a swing. There can be small columns which uh, shows small swings you know price immediately reversed and changed the column so that's a big big advantage so irrespective of 20 day 30 day 10 day irrespective of time we can define a trading system based on only price so when so price Prashant, goes, uh, so sorry yeah. to interrupt uh, so can yeah. we say that uh, a turtle breakout uh, concept applied in point and figure chart is even more significant because the nature of the point and figure charge is uh, such that uh, it filters out noise so if there is a new uh, high that is being made it is far more uh, significant piece of information uh, maybe compared to a candlestick chart uh, 
Oh, uh, I would say, say that. that. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we we can in a way say that, but uh, I would uh, not like to you know uh, get into the comparison. It's a different system. It's a it's a uh, it is something which nothing uh, no other charting system can offer, right? Price goes above last let's say five column high, which we recommend and which is a default uh, turtle parameter uh, in trade point. So we can say that price goes above last five swings. Uh, and that's a very important or significant information. And on point and figure, using that, we can create systems, we can define entry, exit, and uh, all sorts of things, right? And that's applicable on any instrument, any box value. You can go to the lower time frame and plan trades. You can go to the, uh, you, you can use, use it on any instrument. So that way, I would say it very, uh, it, it is a very significant uh, or very useful pattern. And, uh, uh, it's a very simple definition of breakout also a lot of patterns will get covered on candlestick on point and figure on or, or any other charting method uh, that if price is above last five column high it is a very significant breakout i think most of the charts will have bullish patterns and uh, for example here uh, I'll, I'll just plot a turtle uh, 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 breakout or turtle pattern so this is turtle breakout bullish. We say it uh, uh, X columns five. That means price makes a high of uh, uh, last five. Uh, price goes above the highest point of last five columns. That's a breakout. So in this in this particular case here, there's a breakout. And uh, then we can have different rules. For example, we can put a stop loss below this uh, uh, double bottom cell or uh, the, the lowest point of the pattern or things like that. Yeah, you were asking. So you were saying basically, this. if it is a, if we are choosing the default parameter of five, it means uh, uh, the the current column is uh, highest in the uh, last four co uh, columns of X, right? That is a that is a interpretation or meaning, isn't it? Correct, 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 correct. Current column so high the, is five includes the current the column also. So we are in the fifth column, and uh, the current column is highest uh, um, in the last four columns of X. Yes, that's right. So that's a very simple uh, uh, pattern actually, uh, but it's a very uh, uh, useful and uh, uh, you have this is so the pattern is horizontal uh, pattern breakout basically, right? Now if right. you'll analyze or or if you'll uh, uh, observe this, uh, see this pattern, and and you have. Uh, this pattern now here you can see that it's a horizontal pattern there's a breakout the length of the pattern you observe it's it's kind of though it is a horizontal pattern it's a uh, the length is high it's a deep uh, the bottom is yeah. kind of deep yeah. here it's a narrow pattern uh, the width is uh, uh, more and the uh, comparatively the it's not a deep pattern you know the bottom is not uh, very far That's so true. Yeah, so you can observe, you know, there are many things even within this uh, simple turtle breakout system. So how does this help in a trending market? Uh, because uh, I get a lot of questions and you must have also encountered this question, isn't it? Now that the mid cap, small cap stocks are flying around. The general question is uh, in point and figure itself, there are maybe say about eight to ten uh, popular patterns and uh, there are uh, combinations of uh, patterns also. So uh, the common question is, uh, how do I ensure that I uh, capture those momentum stocks uh, where I get a entry opportunity? Does turtle system or the scanner help us identify those candidates? So uh, yeah, there is. Uh, uh, so there are two things uh, uh, here. First of all, in the current market scenario, so in any trending market scenario, I would say we turtle because. Uh, if price is going up, there will be a turtle breakout at some point in time, right? So yeah. uh, you will get uh, uh, candidates easily. You will not miss on the candidates who are performing. That's one. Second, yes, there is a scanner. Uh, you can use it on uh, uh, for the end of the day uh, method or maybe uh, uh, real time also. So there are turtle breakout, probable turtle breakout scanners, which can give you list of candidates uh, uh, which uh, where, where there's a possibility of bullish or bearish turtle breakout. So all this is possible, uh, but uh, 
uh, then uh, 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 the major problem here is uh, in bullish markets you get a lot of candidates you know it's not really only with turtle it's a it's a problem actually with a lot of people don't realize that yes. uh, there's a bullish market the problem is the problem of plenty i mean you have a lot of options and what typically happens is you buy something and you know that doesn't perform and something else would perform and things like that because and that, uh, that is a typical problem prashant how do we address yeah. that meaning uh, if somebody runs a scanner daily and comes up with maybe say 5 10 compelling candidates uh, then uh, obviously capital is limited for everyone uh, isn't it irrespective of how big or small you are as a trader uh, so mm. how do we cope up with this problem of plenty meaning uh, people talk uh, in a light hearted way about uh, wanting to borrow money from world bank to invest in stocks so <laughs> like <laughs> so how do you address that do you suggest that uh, avoid uh, running those scanners on a daily basis or what is the how do we get rid of this uh actually uh, the most important point that we need to understand here is uh, there is not re- there is there is no solution for this actually uh, i mean there is no uh, uh, formula uh, you will have lot of stocks running when there is a bull market i i think i have uh, uh, over based on my uh, experience i think there are two important concepts here number one is i would give lot of weightage to relative strength here i think relative strength is a very interesting concept and that can help to an extent in uh, filtering the stocks i mean for example if i would like to have uh, more exposure in nifty 500 or mid cap stocks when the, there is a breakout or those those uh, indices are performing compared to nifty that's one second if if uh, mid caps are performing then in those group which candidates or which mid cap stocks are outperformers and there i think lot of people use relative strength as uh, a tool that uh, you know where you rank uh, which are the top performing candidates but the patterns like turtle breakout on relative strength charts are also a very useful information it tells you that price is now uh uh, uh price uh, the stock has now started outperforming after a kind of consolidation or moving uh, in uh, sync with uh, the denominator so that could be a very useful uh, uh, pattern on uh, uh, the this total breakout can be a very useful pattern on relative strength charts also so i think that the, you know ultimately there is no concrete uh, formula or solution to this but uh, there are two or three tools like relative strength breadth and then Uh, the risk management for example the pattern is very deep and my stop loss is very far maybe uh, i can have a, a kind of a, a controlled uh, i can have a limited uh, quantity or i can deal with position sizing there or i can simply uh, try to trade patterns where the risk is more affordable okay so that's how so we can filter the stocks latest thing could be a very uh, a useful tool in uh, filtering out candidates is what you are suggesting right yes 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 and uh, should uh, should somebody avoid the um, what should i say avoid uh, running those scanners on a daily basis because uh, what happens is uh, if i run the scanners and uh, if there are new candidates popping up uh, based on the uh, filters that i have uh the temptation is that um, let me just uh, churn my portfolio get rid of something and get into the new candidate uh, <laughs> do you suggest uh, that kind of an aggressive churning uh, or will it uh, turn out to be counterproductive see that uh, depends a lot on a, a trading system uh, and also uh, you know the mindset of trader or investor i think uh, you know there are many you would also agree that there are many ways to trade there is no uh, single formula but i think it depends a lot on how uh, the approach or the mindset of a trader or investor because for example at times i am uh, mm, i'd be kind of uh, hyper i would like more of a churning you know i would not be able to uh, sit idle with those stocks only that's one second uh, if my portfolio if i i'm already invested in if i am i am convinced or all those stocks are breakout stocks or there is no the exit criteria is not met that then i should not stop running scanners to avoid the conflict and then i should i should just uh, uh, focus on the the positions that i already have yeah that will But, be uh, more uh, more uh, relevant isn't it prashant meaning you have already di- um, 
adopted the best approach for yourself and you have yeah. you are fully interested then until your exit criteria triggers based on relative strength or the price pattern it makes sense to probably yeah. avoid uh, or looking for fresh candidates isn't it until such time there are right. some uh, exit is triggered and then you look for the next opportunity otherwise you keep churning and then uh, you realize that uh, basically you are at the same place your broker gets rich and uh, your portfolio is not performing true true in fact in fact you you understand all this uh, better and you are asking me so that you can also explain so i i in fact i should ask you how how, how someone should deal with this uh, kind of thing based on your experience uh, no uh, this is something that uh, even uh, i have experienced it uh, and uh, this temptation is always there uh, when, uh, whenever whenever say obviously stocks uh, the ones that you own there is no compulsion that it has to keep rising every day isn't it and uh, if something else rises uh, the normal uh, human tendency is that okay um, uh, i am i missing out on an opportunity so once we mm. get into the mindset uh, what typically happens is uh, uh, after maybe say 3 months or 6 months when you look at your portfolio uh, mm. you will notice that had you sat on the original portion itself you would have made at least uh, very decent returns but this constant churning sometimes uh, will not be very beneficial maybe have a um, maybe a mm. weekly or at least a fortnightly or a monthly kind of a relook at your uh, portfolio so that uh, mm. you avoid the churning to some extent so mm. that's mm. Uh, my pro- personal preference uh, so yeah. in the meanwhile uh, it is better to stop looking for uh, fresh opportunities because once you are actively looking for something then the temptation is to cut something out of your current portfolio and uh, jump into the other thing it's like uh, standing in the queue and you'll always notice that the the queue next to you is always moving mm-hmm. at the rapid pace once you jump over mm-hmm. then the original queue starts moving so then mm-hmm. you are basically yeah, jumping the queues and uh, remaining at the same place yes 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 that that's and and if you have if you are not being able to overcome that uh, temptation then i think you should have a parallel trading system maybe an index or something else which is very active in nature and you are you keep yourself in, involved in that think, yeah <laughs> yeah keep your mind right, so, uh, yeah so uh, uh, i think uh, i'll i'll share uh, i'll make you a presenter and you, you can also share if you have any take on your uh, simple uh, let's say uh, this this turtle system sure, only sure. What, what yeah what do you think on it? so is my uh, screen visible now yes okay so basically uh, uh, um, in any um, strong trending market uh, there are uh, two possibilities right a price goes through mm. a strong trend then uh, gets mm. into a correction the correction may be shallow may be horizontal may be deep and then the trend mm. resumes mm. so uh, now that uh, you have laid the foundation uh, as far as turtle breakout is concerned uh, turtle mm. breakout is a wonderful pattern which uh, captures uh, Uh, the trend resumption in both uh, possibilities uh, both mm. possibilities as in a shallow correction and a, a deeper correction so mm. uh, one of the patterns that is very unique to ponton figure is the abc pattern uh, which is nothing but mm. you have mm. uh, some kind of a momentum move uh, which we call mm. as an anchor column wherein price mm. uh, just goes unidirectionally up then it gets mm. into some kind of uh, consolidation and mm. then the trend resumes so the consolidation mm. or the correction could be horizontal as it is displayed in this slide or it mm. can be uh, slightly deeper in the next slide mm. if you notice uh, we have a slightly mm. deeper consolidation it is the same chart mm. uh, i'm mm. using bellock compression chart here uh, this mm. is slightly earlier in the day uh, where again if you notice uh, you had two anchor columns and there was uh, a small pullback in between so if you look at it it's basically a mm. momentum move and then a consolidation and uh, we draw the 45 degree trend line and once the price uh, breaks out above the trend line it indicates that uh, bullish prints are more than the bearish prints so that is the implication of uh, a down uh, trending uh, trend line breakout right a down sloping trend line breakout if it happens it basically means uh, more number of x are getting printed compared to o that is when Correct. the breakout happens hmm. so that if you notice uh, you see that horizontal green line there which is uh, the place where the turtle breakout has been triggered and if you also mm. notice we also have the 45 degree trend line breakout that ha- that is also completed so more or less uh, uh, what i'm trying to say is a uh, turtle breakout is like uh, in a way it uh, takes care of multiple patterns so in point and figure mm. you have uh, maybe um, a dozen patterns and uh, as i told earlier uh, people come up with uh, 
combination or hybrid patterns and then the question mm. is which is the best pattern that, that i should be uh, use uh, that should be used in the current market context so that mm. i catch um, uh, those momentum candidates what i mm. felt was what i use is uh, uh, a mm. slight uh, tweak to the turtle breakout concept okay so what i uh, scan for basically is uh, i am looking for a turtle breakout and then mm. right should uh, pull back so there is mm. a column reversal mm. so let us look at a few examples as in um, let us try to drive home the mm. importance of uh, the turtle pattern so we will look at uh, the recent examples so i have a lot of examples here uh, so probably angel broking will be um, mm. in everyone's mind i think that the broking stocks were doing well so you had that momentum move here right mm. and then uh, mm. you had the uh, trend line breakout here and if you notice mm. there was this turtle breakout here can you see that uh, mm. green horizontal line yes, yes. so uh, my, my approach will be to identify this stock when there mm. is a turtle breakout there is a pullback mm. so mm. i want to identify uh, all those stocks where uh, price mm. is at this juncture so that the mm. price has given a breakout and it is just mm. uh, pulling back so uh, you can either take a trade on a column reversal in which case you get a very very affordable um, entry opportunity mm. Or if you want mm. to be a little bit more conservative, wait for the breakout mm. to happen and put the stop loss at the double bottom sell level. Mm. So mm. this is one nice entry that you had in momentum. Here again, if you mm. notice, price was in a, a shallow consolidation. You had this uh, turtle breakout, uh, mm. a small pullback, and then uh, you had the opportunity here. So this is your classic mm. ABC pattern that we discussed, right? Mm. Again, momentum. Mm. In this case, you have mm. a slightly deeper pullback and mm. a trend line breakout. and you mm. also had a turtle breakout mm. so this is the follow through to the turtle breakout that we are talking about again mm. a small pullback so we are now looking at a potential abc pattern and mm. if the price crosses the high of this column of x then it becomes a turtle breakout also mm. Mm. right so that's a continuation turtle breakout right yeah yeah that because, will be a continuous turtle breakout i mean uh, just uh, to uh, understand your uh, uh, method also in in the earlier breakout your stop loss is not triggered so will you st uh, still be in the trade yeah 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 so uh, basically i am uh, see this is 0.25% box size so if i want mm. to participate in uh, bigger trends uh, i obviously mm. cannot use a double bottom sell as my trailing stop loss uh, because uh, it will be too noisy for uh, a mid cap yeah. or a small cap stock so Correct. i will be looking for um, moving average or maybe a turtle breakout uh, a bearish turtle breakout as my exit yeah correct, correct. so that way i can so that uh, way yeah. so that i don't get shaken out uh, on smaller pullbacks okay okay so uh, so in a way, in uh, a way this some, is yeah yeah sure, yeah sure so let us look at a few uh, other examples so this is uh, birla corporation again the same thing if you notice um, this uh, momentum move uh, there is uh, some kind of a consolidation and then the trend resumes mm. so here this was uh, a massive consolidation uh, so the biggest advantage with point and figure is uh, in candlestick chart it becomes difficult to um, mm. build a scanner and um, identify mm. these kind of um, candidates mm. where mm. Uh, there was a momentum and there was a pullback uh, or a correction mm. and then the, mm. the trend is resuming Mm. So in point and figure, the, we have uh, a slight a bit of uh, advantage there. So, so in a way, your trading system is like follow through, but you are buying on upon a column reversal after turtle breakout, right? Yeah, I I have that uh, flexibility also. So if I am very yeah. aggressive, right, I will go. Uh, I will take the trade on the column reversal itself. But because we are dealing with 0.25 percent box size. um mm. even if i wait for a double top buy a uh, breakout mm. my mm. my stop loss is not going to be very deep so mm. uh, let me just um, let us look at a few more examples and then uh, i will show you the scanner that i normally use sure so this, this is adani enterprises everybody knows what the stock did so you had this abc pattern and uh, let me just uh, plot the turtle breakout here so that so you had the turtle breakout in this column right mm. again abc mm. breakout turtle breakout mm. follow through so mm. here uh, again uh, this was a abc pattern 
abc is nothing but you have an anchor column or a strong momentum move price consolidates mm. and then it breaks out above the 45 degree trend line so mm. you you if you notice again it becomes very difficult to build a scanner for abc pattern because uh, we cannot mm. define that uh, the consolidation after the anchor column is uh, uh, n number of columns it could be any number of columns right it can, it can be mm. three column uh, mm. consolidation five columns 10 columns it could be anything so mm. the advantage with uh, turtle breakout is it will effectively capture this uh, abc pattern also so uh, most of the abc pattern breakouts if you notice you also have uh, parallelly a turtle breakout right mm. so here uh, we are looking at a potential abc pattern here so uh, your turtle breakout will probably happen when uh, the high of this column of x uh, is taken out or probably the high of this column of x depending upon uh, which one is higher so uh, this will pop up in my scanner if i'm not already in uh, in adani enterprises if there is a fresh turtle breakout and then a pullback then uh, this uh, stock will pop up in my scanner so the scanner okay. that i'm using is i will show you the scanner also okay so this is turtle breakout and pullback right so hmm. i'm looking for uh, two different combinations here the first one is i'm looking for uh, the pattern there should be a turtle breakout at uh, column number 1 right hmm. and then hmm. uh, obviously uh, we have a turtle breakout in column number 1 column number 0 will be a column of 4 hmm. right uh, so i am hmm. restricting the number of boxes in column number uh, 0 uh, to hmm. uh, 11 boxes uh, the idea being uh, if it is less than 7 boxes in 0.25 uh, then mm. uh, you will not see a column reversal happening in one uh, percent. Uh, things will be bullish in one percent, right? Correct. So uh, that way, uh, my next higher time frame uh, bullishness is taken care of. Uh, so I'm trying to build in multi time frame analysis within this scanner, which is why I'm restricting the number of boxes to 11. Uh, it is not compulsory, but this way, at least I can, uh, in in the current market scenario, I can uh, uh, reduce the number of uh, candidates that uh, qualify right so that mm -hmm. is the idea mm -hmm. so if you, if you uh, get very few candidates then probably you can just remove this uh, particular condition or make this condition a little bit more flexible maybe you can have up to 20 boxes in the pullback 20 boxes uh, will be in uh, we are we are looking at a pullback of maybe five percent right roughly mm -hmm. in uh, mm -hmm. point five percent box size and mm -hmm. then um, I, I obviously the third condition is i don't want a double bottom cell uh, in mm -hmm. column number so I just I'm looking at a pullback, and that pullback should not result in a, a double bottom cell. So mm. this is the first set of conditions that I'm looking at. And the second possibility uh, that I'm uh, trying to look for is uh, turtle breakout happens in the third column from the right, mm. right? And mm -hmm. after that, mm -hmm. I'm I'm looking for a shallow pullback in uh, the, the subsequent column, and in the last mm. column in the chart, it should be a column of X, but I don't want a double top buy. Mm. Okay, so it's a probable double top buy. Yeah, it's a so I'm basically looking at two or two different uh, possibilities here. Correct. So you are looking for a uh, for buying at column reversal or uh, upon follow through. So you get candidates where the follow through is not yet triggered, and you are yeah, looking for yeah. probable so looking both possibilities. Yeah, where column reversal has happened and where uh, we are still in a column of four. Hmm. So uh, I think we have seen enough examples. Let me go to the scanner. Mm -hmm. So I've just run the scanner on uh, mid small cap 400. So we can take mm -hmm. a look at some of those uh, examples that uh, this scanner has picked mm -hmm. up. So if you look at mm -hmm. Plurochem. Mm -hmm. So you had this ABC pattern, uh, big breakout. So mm -hmm. this was where the tur in this column, the turtle breakout was triggered. Now you have mm -hmm. a, a small pullback. So mm. you can either uh, take the trade on a column reversal and you know the column reversal value beforehand. Uh, so if I just place mm. my cursor on this uh, column of O, my column reversal mm. value is 1593. So I can choose mm. to take a trade uh, at 1593 or mm. just wait for a double top buy and mm. uh, put the stop loss at a uh, double bottom sell and then uh, take it forward from there depending upon your uh, trade management style. So your initial stop loss will be at double bottom sell? Yeah, initial stop loss will be double bottom sell 
I, once the mm. trade starts in uh, moving in my favor, then mm. I switch over to either the moving average or a turtle breakout on the uh, mm. on the bearish side. So the uh, will you lower your stop loss trade. after taking a trade? Sorry. Will you, for example, your initial stop loss is let's say uh, 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 five percent. Will you right. lower your stop loss uh, once it comes in favor? Will it be, go to seven, eight percent, ten percent of the price? No, no, no. See, initially, I want to restrict. Uh, I want to cap my maximum stop loss at some percentage. I don't want to uh, take uh, 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 unduly high risk uh, in any position. Mm. So mm. Uh, it is either the double bottom sell or maximum mm. cap it at uh, uh, eight to nine percent from entry. That's it. And once the price uh, starts moving in my favor, then uh, I either switch over to the moving average as my stop loss, or better mm. still, um, uh, the other options are. I can look at bearish turtle breakouts, or uh, I can use uh, the, the most recent mini bottom as my um, uh, exit mm -hmm. criteria. So there are uh, so many ways you can dice it, or maybe mm -hmm. you, you can use Renko charts for your exit, wherein mm -hmm. you can wait for a moving average crossover in Renko charts uh, mm -hmm. uh, to, to um, exit your position. So exits, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's a different uh, topic in mm -hmm. itself. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the basic so, idea is yeah. initially I want to keep my risk uh, very small, but once the position starts in, uh, to move in my favor, I want to give mm -hmm. the position sufficient leeway so that uh, I'm uh, participating in the bigger trends. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is the scanner that I have. Uh, and the other scanner that you can think about is uh, if you don't want to um, restrict the pullbacks and all that. Um, mm -hmm. I have uh, another scanner. So this is a turtle breakout without any condition. So what I'm basically looking at is I want a turtle breakout to be uh, satisfied at column number two. And then mm. there is a pullback. There is no restriction on uh, how many boxes are there in the pullback column after the turtle mm. breakout. So mm. the only thing uh, I'm ensuring is there is no double bottom cell. Mm. In, the, in column number three, I'm looking at uh, um, a probable double top by uh, candidates. So mm. this could be an option as well. So depending upon mm. uh, how many candidates uh, are coming up in uh, the first scanner, my uh, first preference will be to use the first scanner, wherein I'm restricting the pullback and all that. So if I get too many mm. candidates, there, uh, then uh, as you said, I can uh, use the um, relative strength uh, filter or if I if I get too few candidates in the first scanner, then I will uh, try this one, the second one to mm. see if I'm getting a little a bit more number of candidates. So it's mm. again a personal choice. You can just pick and choose any scanner that uh, suits you. Okay. So, so I again, think the uh, uh, behind this scanner yeah. is that uh, uh, I don't have to really worry about. Uh, uh, which is the pattern that I should be scanning for? Uh, should it be a diagonal triple top or a, a multi-column breakout or a triangle breakout or a bear trap? Uh, I don't have to really uh, get, um, um, uh, what should I say, fixated on any particular pattern. Uh, this uh, turtle breakout practically like uh, gives me what I want. So personally, uh, I like this pattern and I'm just trying to look for a follow through, potential follow through candidates. Correct. Correct. Makes sense. Now the int uh, interesting point here is, see, you are using 0.25% box value even for mid caps. Yeah. So uh, this is actually a very important uh, point of discussion. You know, a lot of people will keep asking about which box value should I use, and, uh, and maybe for futures, maybe options for which instrument, which box value should I use. So yeah. a very simple explanation for beginners could be, you know, like use 0.25% for like daily chart because all all that we are used to is candlestick charts we know that time frame is daily weekly monthly a short term yeah. i should i should use daily for medium term weekly and monthly and so on yeah. but uh, yeah. you know we should also think beyond that and that's a that there is a possibility in point and figures because we don't have actually a time frame here we are using box value right uh, we yeah. can always plot weekly uh, can uh, point and figure chart monthly and all that yeah. But the biggest, uh, uh, like we always discuss, is we can uh, save on impact cost and daily time frame is most uh, tradable for any, for, right. from trading perspective, right. for investment perspective, and all that. 
Number two is uh, box value is a very very useful tool. Actually, a lot of people don't understand the importance of box value. I've tried to explain that in my book, I think chapter five. But people, I mean, that needs kind of practice and experience to understand that point. Now, and the, the other thing is that people will uh, not uh, spend too much time trying to understand or appreciate uh, that particular chapter. I think, uh, Prashant. I think the people will jump maybe. to those patterns and uh, the backtest results that you have shown of those patterns. Uh, I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah. will be drawn to that yeah. correct correct but i and i can understand in the beginning maybe even uh, uh, we are more interested in knowing systems and patterns and all that <laughs> but once you practice you know i think a lot of there are many things even when we read books you know uh, uh, it is not possible that or it it doesn't happen that we will understand everything at a point it yes. also depends and that is why i always see you should uh, uh, it is good that you read new books but you should al always go back to the uh, old books and you know you will always try to uh, learn something new because yeah. uh, it also depends on the our experience and our uh, you know exposure so uh, uh, with, with that chapter i think a lot of practitioner uh, in fact i'll try to uh, improve that chapter and write more in the next edition but uh, i i recommend people to go back and read that chapter now uh, for example, you are using 0.25% in mid cap. You can always increase the box value to 3% uh, yeah. and uh, find the same thing. But there, the total breakout will not be very applicable. You know, uh, the box value also depends on the trading system or the tools that you use. For example, yeah. if you are using moving average, you are using something like ABC, you are using multiple column setups, then it will be more useful on uh, lower box value even from investment perspective it will be more useful on lower box value and uh, uh, if you are using simple setups like column reversal or for uh, double top buy simple double top buy <laughs> you are not using more than three columns on your in your setup then your higher box values will be more useful so it also depends on the patterns on the tools that you are using so here you are using turtle breakout which uh, is like last 10 column setup 5x and then more rows so the 9 10 column setup so that's yeah. uh, that is more useful on lower box value even from investment perspective so that is what yeah. we can see on uh, your mid cap chart so that's a very interesting point and that's not only on turtle it's applicable on all tools uh, on point and figure and uh, renko as well yeah uh, uh, now that you have uh, raised this topic about uh, box sizes and its importance a lot of times uh, whenever especially when we are teaching the concept to uh, uh, to people who are new to point and figure uh, the, mm. the question that we get sooner or later is what is the ideal box size so yeah, how correct. would you handle that question Actually, is there anything called know, ideal uh, how, how do i <laughs> so in that way we we use these simple uh, uh, things like you know 0.25% 1% 3% and that's okay to begin with and they they are useful as well but i can uh, de uh, design setups on 0.25% and i can design it on 1% but the rules will be different right so right. Uh, typically uh, the way we have learned is you know people like uh, uh, to use same things on different time frame for example rsi 60 on a candlestick chart uh, rsi above 50 above 60 is a good uh, bullish stock in a strong momentum i agree with that but then people right. would like to think that rsi above 60 on weekly monthly daily that's more favorable that's okay also to an extent but why not to think that you can use different tools things can be different on higher time frame uh, right. from that perspective and that's that concept is more applicable on things like point and figure renko but because here you have a steady time frame like daily you have a different box value the moment you reduce the box value you have multiple columns you increase right. the box value you have uh, fewer columns but that, uh, and and what we say is that it is to control noise which is right but then you can use this noise also uh, for your advantage you have multiple columns then you right. can apply tools like moving uh, uh, indicators trend lines uh, multi column breakouts so then they, they will be more useful on this uh, multiple column uh, columns right so lower right. box values are also important and higher box values are also important you can have different setups on both of them and this concept is applicable on lower time frame like just now we have discussed this turtle breakout uh, yeah. of, uh, system this is applicable on maybe options also on lower time frame Right, right, on one minute. Right. Now you can reduce the box value and uh, uh, use it on trading options. 
or on on any instrument you can trade it on currency you can trade it on gold you can trade it on relative strength so th this concept is applicable on all uh, instruments i would say so basically a uh, box size uh, it depends on the tools that you plan to use and the time frame that you are trading isn't it uh, is the is Correct. that the broad takeaway yeah and yes so most importantly tools that you use yeah no yeah that's that's a that is something i think a lot of people don't relate to it because we are not used to uh, all these things but that's a very interesting aspect of it yeah 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 that's uh, that's nice prashan because uh, that's very yeah. uh, important and uh, uh, yeah. people uh, as you said uh, it, uh, it takes a little bit of practice to really get to that understanding that okay uh, i can yeah. mix and match uh, box size and the tools and arrive at uh, uh, the the sweet spot uh, based on my requirement but uh, if yes. we give that answer, uh, people uh, think that uh, we are just trying to like uh, not uh, giving a very precise answer to their question uh, I, but then I understand that. Yeah. As as uh, they start practicing, uh, they realize that uh, the importance of what we talk. But it is correct, uh, correct, correct. constant learning and evolution, I think. Correct. And I mean, I would like to stress on this uh, st uh, stress on this point also. You know, we should a uh, lot of people are uh, interested in uh, understanding the trading system, which box value you use, which parameters you use, and all that. now if you say that you should adjust and you should practice and you should experiment around the things they will feel it no wo gyan ban jata hai but it's not that we should <laughs> we should try to become practitioners and and we try to understand the logic and concept which is very important thing unfortunately uh, a lot of people don't understand the importance of this and what what happens is you try to copy the system which with some someone else is following Uh, what will happen is you will not be able to handle the difficult period or drawdown of that uh, system you will jump to something else because when whenever you will face the problem and then when that system will come uh, will will have a trouble you will jump to something else and then you'll uh, perhaps you'll end up trading bad phases of multiple systems that way yeah you keep talking about that a lot um, yeah people, i think that unless, yeah. unless they have the trade journal and they take a look at it they have not even realize these things Yes, yes. So unless unless you have spent considerable time on your system, you try to understand it logically. Uh, I think you'll not be able to follow it. Uh, any tool for that matter, any 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 method or system for that matter. Anyway, yeah. I think. इसके बारे में बात करते रहे तो ये पूरा सेशन ही गैंग का हो जाएगा. Yeah, I think. But yeah, but two uh, two important things I think uh, uh, before we conclude. See, uh, in the in your uh, system. uh because you are following initial stop loss because because that's very tight and uh, you are trading on follow through there is also a, a element of momentum trading in this setup you know you are because you want your initial stop loss to be protected now yes. that that's a, a totally different subject maybe in some another chit chat we can discuss you know a lot of people are more comfortable with tight initial stop loss Yeah. and uh, they're not comfortable with deep stop loss but if you'll backtest any system you'll always find that if you have a deep initial stop loss it will be it is more uh, uh, more favorable yeah of course it's it's uh, so here what we are doing is for example in your in your current uh, chart only the last setup the total breakout yeah. actually pattern is kind of deep you have a deep uh, uh, stop loss now what you're doing is you're following uh, you're trading a follow through of that pattern so follow through yeah. is a very useful to tool here you can trade setups where the initial stop loss was very deep and now you are trading follow through yeah so in that you should also have a, th there is also an element of momentum trading and whenever you are trading momentum uh, setups i think this anchor column will if if your setup will have anchor column i think there are more chances that uh, the pattern will be in your favor that's a very yeah. technical yeah. point but uh, i think that's a very important point your your success ratio will improve And, yeah, uh, and uh, see, if uh, I, I think Prashant, if you if you are an instrument trader, then obviously you don't have the luxury of uh, um, um, uh, what shall I say, having a going with a tight stop loss. But here I'm looking at a big universe, right? 400 stocks or 500 stocks. So if I get stopped off in one uh, position because of the tight stop loss, I can probably get a follow through trade uh, sometime later, or I I will get a trade in some other stock. So I have that mm -hmm. big advantage there when I when I'm dealing with stocks. But if I'm mm -hmm. an instrument trader. then probably you are um, uh, uh, that might not be such a logical thing to do wherein you okay. always at, uh, it's always been nice to cap your max risk at a particular level which is what i'm trying to do here but uh, 
yes some may agree some may not uh, but uh, it's it's a question of style no no I, and that's totally okay i mean we should also uh, 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 keep our initial risk in mind because trading is all about you know we should have a favorable risk reward then only we'll be able to survive that's a totally important thing and that's why what, what i said is the, the, here comes the importance of follow through basically you yeah, have yeah, a, yeah. that deep stop loss patterns which can you know in back testing they will be favorable but i i will not be able to trade up uh, where my stop loss is 20 25% away <laughs> so here i i can wait for the follow through and that that is how i can actually deal with that uh, kind of a setup you know yes uh, and uh, uh, yeah i think uh, agar uh, there there are more points but i think ye to aise hi chalte jayega 2 ghante ka session ho jayega yeah so, so uh, 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 the, uh, what i want to emphasize here before we wrap up is that uh, this is just uh, what i have demonstrated is a, a method to identify candidates right uh, this is not the only method or the best method and uh, what Ooh. is more important is this is not a trading system that you are trying to uh, give somebody so this is Ooh. just a uh, step one wherein you are uh, identifying candidates then you decide uh, your uh, trade plan based on your uh, your uh, trading method what you are comfortable with uh, uh, add in more layers of uh, filters based on uh, fundamentals and all that stuff and then take it forward from there so we are just trying to give you some broad ideas that's it yes 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 so uh, uh uh this point i mean we you can also do for example this system is for identifying candidates you, you if you have any other trading system let's say on uh, candlestick chart you you get candidates then you can uh, uh there's a facility you can uh, save these candidates in a group and you can run Uh, a trading system on candlestick chart, chart on those, those instrument for example rsi above 60 on daily weekly monthly yeah. or maybe yeah. above super yeah. trend or a, anything of that sort so you have a multi charting systems uh, 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 another idea which lot of people have not really explored but maybe we'll talk in detail uh, some other time on it yeah or you can run that fusion matrix of 400 stocks and uh, yeah. uh, sort it in the descending order of the total rs ranking score and uh, then run this uh, probable uh, the scanner that i showed you you can run on those uh, uh, top 100 stocks for example so you are basically focusing on uh, top 100 uh, uh, rs uh, strong candidates and looking for a momentum breakout in those uh, stocks so it is just a yeah. possibility you can think about that also perfect makes sense all right so i think uh, we should conclude it here uh, i think we have already uh, yeah it, it, it is too long and uh, uh, sorry everyone for that actually it was it, this was a very i mean impromptu session we ha- we did not uh, have any plans or such so uh, uh, and we assume that you have this basic understanding of this uh, point and figure uh, when we are discussing this i uh, hope you guys have found it useful Yeah thanks a lot Prashant uh, nice thanks. having this conversation with you Yeah so thank you thank you everyone uh, see you soon bye